I'm firefighter Queer, based at Euston Fire Station, one of the oldest stations in London, built in 1902, and I'm here to show you around the station. So this here is the watch room where we get the information about our shouts from the tower printer. Once the shout comes through, you whip off the tick sheet and you look at the map so you can get the location of where we're going. You'll then tell that to the driver so we can get there in a quick and safe fashion. So here in the basement, we've got our gym. Obviously for the job, you have to stay fit and active. It's a bit small, but it's got everything you need to do the job. Now the garden is cared for by members of each watch to make it look presentable and relaxing. It's really important for us to have a place to relax because of how stressful the work can be. See, this is a memorial garden for a firefighter who used to be at Houston, but sadly passed away in 2013, Rob Pope. Obviously, it's not the best weather to be enjoying the garden, so let's go back inside. Houston Fire Station, as it has been open since 1902, does carry a lot of memorabilia on its walls, such as pictures from various incidents of the past, as well as members of the watches that used to exist here. We have meals here twice a day on day shift. Usually breakfast around 11 a.m. and a big meal around 5 p.m. Now, if you think you wouldn't be able to do the job on just two meals a day, wait until you see the portion sizes. Um, here at Euston Fire Station, um, we're very centrally located, so we've got a lot of what we call potential fire risks. We've got obviously the Euston Mainline Station, we've got King's Cross, uh, the British Museum, uh, Telecom Tower, London Zoo. Also on Euston Station grounds, we've got um, some stuff that's of interest of a historical nature. So we've got the British Museum and we've also got the British Library. So obviously a lot of historical artefacts and stuff like that. So we have a contingency plan, which we rehearse on a three monthly basis, just knowing what to do in the event of a fire, evacuation plans and, and ensuring that the most valuable artefacts don't get damaged by fire. One of the appliances that's at Euston Fire Station is a fire rescue unit. And it covers road traffic collisions, um, incidents involving trains. It does hazardous material um, incidents. The other one that it does, which people find quite strange, is it does large animal rescue. Um, predominantly, really, in London, that would be towards the outskirts, horses, farmland, things like that. But bearing in mind that we've got London Zoo on our station ground. We get involved with them and with the zoo staff to um, help extract some of their larger animals, giraffes, so on and so forth. We've got a nice tower here to practice our ladders and we also get vehicles every few months to practice our road traffic collisions and how to cut somebody out of a vehicle in an emergency. These are the airbags carried on the pump ladder. We use them for road traffic collisions of lifting cars. However, they can be used for lifting various items uh, incidences. Now we're going to go and see them in action on a car. So here is our BA room where we can change the cylinders on our sets. We tend to test our sets on the truck unless they are out of air. So we've got the EDVA cylinders for use. So extended duration, so these guys can go for a good 45 minutes. And then we've got the SDV cylinders, which usually is just about 30 minutes, but it is mainly what we use for firefighting. Well, this is more for exploration and checking the size of a building because of its longer duration. Now, out on the wall here, we have our SDBA and EDBA logbooks. A change of watch each day, we all have to test our sets to make sure they are functional and safe for us to use in the event of an incident. In here, we have the gear room in which all of the other watches store their gear. The watch that is currently on duty always keeps their gear by the appliance so it is ready for use. Thank you very much for visiting us at Houston Station today. 
I hope it's been informative and you've enjoyed the tour. Hopefully we'll be able to see you in person soon.